Love from Kayla Crochet Love and welcome to episode 50. If you are new to my channel, welcome. It's lovely to have you stop by and check out my channel. And if you are returning, um, of course it's always lovely to have you stop by and visit with me. <clears throat> I love that there. So I'm already at 50 episodes, which is crazy. I can't believe I've done 50 episodes. That's just mind-blowing to me. I didn't think I was going to keep going for this long, but I've just been having so much fun and getting to know so many awesome people. Um, trying to keep this a little bit shorter today. Who knows if I will or not. I am kind of sick. <laughs> but I didn't want to delay doing this. I have a a cold as far as we're concerned, as far as, as we know. I checked in with um, a doctor or a nurse or whatever and she seems to think it's just a cold but because of what's going on in the world I have to stay in my house until uh, I feel better or I did have to go for a test so or until I get the results well I have to wait till the results are back before I can go back to work but um, so I am a little bit sick but I wanted to come on here and show you what I have done um, before I have more things to show, which if I'm still sick, I don't know if I will, but um, I'm just really congested right now, so. Um, the first thing I will show you, I have a couple finished objects. The one I don't have with me, ooh, my lighting's going all funny. Um, sorry about that, but the one I don't have with me it was something I made for um, an old friend of mine, someone I, I've known since elementary school. Um, they're actually moving away like to Nova Scotia or something like that but he asked me if I could make his little guy a sloth so I went on the hunt for a sloth pattern and I found one um, and it is the I just have it written down I have notes today the friendly sloth by Callie Dal Dal I'll link it down below um, it is a paid for pattern, but she has the free version on her uh, website. Um, but I think the paid for pattern just has more um, detail on sewing and stuffing and whatnot. Because that was one problem I had was I didn't know when to stuff and when not to stuff. So I ended up stuff stuffing the head and the body, but not the limbs. Um, just because I thought it was cute as like a little rag doll kind of thing. Um, so here, I'll insert some pictures here so you can see what it looks like. So that's my little sloth. I think he turned out really cute. I love the ragdoll um, limbs. Um, the head's a little crooked. <laughs> Just because I, I sewed it together pretty quickly because I wanted to get it done so I could work on Christmas gifts, which I haven't. <laughs> but um, the head's a little crooked, but I think it just adds to it. So I managed to deliver it to him um, before he moved because I would have just shipped it otherwise. But I managed to deliver it to him last week or over the weekend actually. And uh, he sent me a picture and his little guy just loves it. So... Um, it's always nice to see that. So he already asked me if um, he's ex they're expecting another little a little baby. So they asked me if I would if they um, sent me a request for another animal if I would make it and then uh, either ship it to them or send it to his mom and she would get it to them. And of course I said yes because um, I uh, I have no projects that I really want to work on right now. So. Um, and I, so the other finished object I have is amigurumi and I've actually really enjoyed making amigurumi again. I haven't done it in, I haven't really done a lot of amigurumi the past couple years, but I've been really enjoying it. So I made the sloth and my next one I have talked about, I think, a couple times. This one was a chore, but it turned out really cute. I'm happy with how it turned out. Um, it's Apa. So Apa is from Avatar, The Last Airbender. He's this big creature that 
um, they like write on in the sky and stuff. He's really cool. And it's by Katie Moore. Um, so I finished it. I finished it in about two nights. And this is my APA. So I made this for my baby nephew. Again, the eyes are kind of crooked, but I don't really care. Um, my baby nephew is over two and a half, about almost two and a half now. So my brother asked me if I could make him an APA, so I did. And I just love how he turned out. Sorry the lighting's really bad in here. It's very gloomy here today, and I didn't want to go all the way down to my craft room, so... So yeah, this is Apa. He's so cute. Um, so the pattern is free on her website. I will link to it down below, of course. Her she, In her pattern, she made hers with DK. I made mine with worsted. Um, I thought I was going to have to go out and buy yarn for it, but I had all the colors really um, at home. Because it doesn't take a whole lot of yarn. Most of it is white. And there's like a decent amount of the brown. Um, I did the nose and stuff a little differently. Because I was trying to base it off of the character more. Like hers was really cute too. I think she did it in the, this part in like beige or something. But every picture I looked at of Apa was... It seemed like most of them were different, so I just went off of um, my favorite, and I liked the gray. And then this part was this part was probably the toughest because you have to sew on a bunch of separate pieces. So I just bit the bullet and did it, and I really enjoyed it. It was really nice. This was the first amigurumi I'd made since my little turtle one, I think. And then before that, it was my starshine. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. So it's really cute and that's going to my nephew, my baby nephew for Christmas. Now I just have to think of something for Goober, my older nephew. If you if you haven't been watching um, for very long, I call my oldest nephew Goober just for his um, privacy and stuff. So I've called him Goober since he was a kid. Like, uh, he's a kid. <laughs> since he was a baby, I've called him Goober. So I have to think of something to make for him. My brother sent me some suggestions. Um, so I just need to find some patterns. Um, and uh, the desire to do it. Just because the past couple days since I've been sick. Um, I haven't wanted to. So. Um, so that's it for finished objects. And I have one work in progress currently. That I'm actively working on. There's a couple that are tossed to the side. Um, oh yeah, and for my APA, um, I used uh, mostly Red Heart scraps, so I think this and this is Red Heart. The white is Bernat Premium. I'm not sure what this part is. It was just some gray I had in my stash, but I don't think it's Red Heart or Bernat. I could be wrong, but I um, just wanted to let you know that's what I used. For the sloth, I used the same, Red Heart and Bernat. Uh, yeah, Red Heart and Bernat Premium. So my only work in progress right now is the Tubular Trifecta Infinity Scarf by Colleen Webster, I believe, Webster, um, of Evolve Crochet. I showed you this last time, I had just barely started, and I've gotten a decent chunk done. So I finished off with the gray, and this is how much I have left. I feel like I might need a little bit more later in the pattern, I'm not sure, I haven't looked, but I have this much left. I did have to modify the rose. Um, so this is a paid for pattern so I can't go into too much detail. I had to modify the amount of rows I did because my yardage was different than what hers was so I had to kind of guess but um, I'm just using it more of a guideline right now. So I finished the gray so it's one long infinity sorry I forgot, just hang on a sec my husband's calling me Sorry about that, my husband just called me, <laughs> so I had to answer that. So anyways, I have the gray done. I really like how it looks. So it's just a long, like, tube, pretty much. And I really like the texture. And it's so simple. And then I striped in 
my next color. Oh, it looks so cool on the camera. So I wanted to do at least the striping. Um, so I'm not sure what yarn this is. Um, this one is Essence of Autumn. And I can't remember the colorway name. My tag's downstairs. It's Essence of Autumn. So then I work with this one for so many rows. Um, since I did, did the, the, like, the fading in almost. Um, now I just work with this color. And then I will do the same thing and stripe in this one. Which it's more vibrant in person but I think it'll go good with the essence of autumn and the gray so it's a fingering weight yarn so yeah I got a decent chunk done still got a long way to go but it's a nice and simple mindless pattern and it just looks beautiful so that's all my active works in progress I'm looking over there if you see these shelves over here the bottom shelf is where I stash all my crochet projects that aren't in my craft room and it's a mess over there right now so um, but yeah that's it I don't have any acquisitions that I can think of I've been sending my husband links to stuff <laughs> for Christmas um, we're trying to shop from either local or um, as well as local as possible and like um, independent dyers for myself I've been sending him links to um, some independent dyers uh, that I like and of course my local yard store um, which is closed but she does curbside pickup so that's awesome but anyways I'm going to go <laughs> I think I just need some rest and um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.